What is up, my friends? <laughs> I need to stop doing this. Hey, what is up? <laughs> so today we are going to be... Yeah. What is up, my friends? Short intro. We're going to optimize your Lenovo Legion Gaming Laptop. Like and subscribe if this helped you and share with your friends. And do keep in mind, different models have different options, so not everything might be available to you. Now, I have added timestamps for your comfort, so you can easily play back or skip to a certain part. Let's go. Now, the first optimization might be a big duh, but is make sure everything is up to date. We have the Lenovo Vantage software, the big L under in the screen. If you go here to system update, sometimes you need to do a BIOS update, check for updates, and make sure everything is up to date. Also make sure your Windows update is up to date. Go to advanced option and make sure to check optional updates. And you could also install GeForce Experience and install your latest GPU drivers. And once you have updated your system, right click at the bottom, NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA control panel. Go to the manage 3D settings and make sure they're set like this. Next step is to go to your search bar, type in graphic settings, click over here, change default graphic settings, and make sure your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Now, if you're using GeForce Experience, make sure to put the settings like this. Now, if you wish to use the in-game overlay, make sure to press Alt-Z, go to the cogwheel, go to highlights, and turn highlights off. If you turn this on, it's gonna automatically capture screenshots and videos, and this is gonna affect your performance by quite a bit. So next off is the Lenovo Vantage software. This is how I set it up. I put it on thermal mode. It's indicated by the red power button. We have also have balance mode with Legion AI. This is only for the 2022 models to my better knowing. And we have quiet mode, but I generally turn on performance mode because the performance is just the best, but it runs a little hotter. Now over here, we have the GPU overclock. Some laptops need to have this unlocked by via the BIOS, which I will get into shortly. You can turn this on. I will just leave it like this. This is good, good offset. If you don't want to do that, I don't think you really need it. I don't think it really does that much, but if you want to pull the max performance out of your laptop, you can turn this on. Network boost. Uh, puts all your Wi-Fi power to the game you're playing so you don't get lag or interrupts. Auto close closes background programs. Now we have the mug switch over here. Most times when you have your laptop, it's set to hybrid mode. Do not set it to hybrid mode, set it to the DGPU mode. This uses your discrete graphics card only and you don't use your internal graphics card. So you have the max performance in the DGPU mode. No, not every laptop has a mug switch. So, but it's very important to turn this one on because it can drastically increase your performance if you set it to the GPU mode. Now, overdrive, you want to turn that on because it reduces the latency of your screen. The next thing you want to do is go to Task Manager, go to Startup, and make sure every app you do not wish to start up is disabled. Now, one thing you don't have to do is go to the Edit Power Plan tab. You don't have to do this because the Legion performance modes are like baked into the system and you can, like we just said, switch it with the F and Q button and just put it on performance mode. Now, also a thing you wish to turn off is HDR. Go to Display Settings, go to H and make sure the HDR is off. This kind of messes up some games and while you're still at it, go to Advanced Display and make sure your internal display is set to the max hertz. Uh, the next thing I would recommend is go to Google and search for Legion Fan Control and download the Legion Fan Control version two. You will be greeted with a software like this. These are the modes you're using. So we're using the performance mode. These are the thresholds I use. They work. And once you have changed or set these thresholds, make sure to save. And if your laptop is not cool enough, just activate the turbo. Do keep in mind, this is a third-party program, and it's not a Novo of their own, but it definitely helps keep your laptop nice and cool. Also, I would recommend you to uninstall any McAfee or Norton or whatever kind of antivirus software there is on your system pre-installed, and just use Windows security. It's basically the same. It's free, and it's pre-installed in your system. 
But here are some cooling pad recommendations. Personally, I like the Klim Ultimate as the elevation of the cooling pad just makes the laptop much nicer to use. But they all work perfectly fine. If you're poor like me and you don't have the money for a cooling dock, just pick any random object, place it at the bottom of your laptop and make sure the back is a little bit more elevated so the laptop can suck in more air. This will reduce the temperatures by at least five to six degrees during long sessions. So that definitely helps. So if all of this still isn't enough, your laptop is still scorching hot and the performance is totally garbage, do this. Buy a giant fan and place your laptop on a giant fan. Nice. Here's a little, dem little demonstration on how to get into the BIOS. Press F2 on startup you will be greeted with a BIOS like this, at least in most cases. Uh, about the GPU overclock, sometimes there's a little bar over here where you can select it and you have to do the overclocking in this part. Now we have more settings. I don't really like the BIOS on the Legion laptops. It's kind of slow. And at the bottom, there's all kinds of options. This is how mine is set. Now we have the GPU overclocking, mine is turned on, and we have the CPU unlock. And sometimes there's something like memory uh, overclock. You can also turn that on. And as you can see in the beginning, you can also change the dynamic graphics or the discrete graphics, but make sure it's set to discrete graphics. So here are two settings you do not want to turn on and one setting you do want to turn on. So you do not want to turn NVIDIA highlights on. You also do not want to turn VSync on and you do want to turn NVIDIA DLSS on as this can greatly increase the performance. Now I've picked Warzone out of any games, but this counts for any game with these options. Do not turn VSync or NVIDIA highlights on and do turn on DLSS for more performance. If you want to draw the absolute max performance out of your system, the way to do that is to hook up an external monitor and connect it via a, a HDMI or a mini display port cable. So this is what the mini display port cable looks like. One is the mini display port, which is this, which is a USB-C, and the other one is a normal display port cable, which goes into the monitor and the USB-C one goes into the back of your laptop. Make sure if you have done that to turn your laptop screen off and to show the external monitor only. This gives the laptop more power to send to the CPU and GPU, hence you get more performance. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what laptop you have and if this helped you. If it helped you, make sure to like it and send it to a friend to help them as well with the performance. That also helps the channel out. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.